Greetings from the south. We're going to make another glitter bow today. I just made um, a tutorial not too long ago um, where I showed how to make a big glitter bow. Um, that one may have been too big for some of you and um, you're thinking you might want a glitter bow but you want it to be smaller so we're going to make a smaller one today. Um, as I said before at Walmart and probably several other places um, they you know I've seen the glitter ribbon and they do sell it in the one and a half inch um, size there's about four or five different colors um, to choose from and then I also um, order some of my ribbon online um, there is a place called silks and crafts uh, dot com where you can um, order several different colors of the glitter ribbon and a lot of designs in wired rib ribbon in general um, we're working with wired ribbon again today and um, to add to this I'm going to put a little bit of um, feathers in the center um, just to kind of add a little bit more to the bow okay so um, as far as supplies again uh, you know you want to get a needle and thread okay uh, just to kind of secure in the middle you know our bow in the middle um, if you would like to use the crafters tape um, in the first video I showed how to use this to kind of help sandwich the two together without using glue okay good pair of scissors um, I use the little alligator clip to put at the bottom of the bow while I'm sort of making it okay uh, you know choose your uh, your glitter ribbon or wired ribbon whatever okay you also want to choose a solid um, and grow grain is what I use I've also used um, satin ribbon before uh, just your choice and I will do a tutorial um, eventually where I use print uh, ribbon on the inside uh, as well but we're going to do solid color today this is a like a neon pink hot pink okay and I'm also using a piece of marabou to put in the center that matches our solid color okay <clears throat> so you want to kind of coordinate your colors okay um, you also need to get um, a matching 3 8 ribbon this is kind of like a sparkly hot pink um, that we're going to use also to put around the middle of the bow before we put the feathers in okay um, this bow is small enough to use a an alligator clip or a French barrette so that's you know that's just your choice okay then we also um, I'm going to use our um, Sally clip here um, that's you know I use this with all my bows uh, wood burning tool and of course your glue gun and I think that covers all of the supplies okay so let's get started um, first thing we want to do <coughs> is take the wires out of the glitter ribbon okay so I bend mine in half and kind of push the wire out about a half an inch and then I get my scissors and just kind of pull it out okay until it comes out and you just kind of push your your ribbon gently down and until you can uh, get to a point where the wire will come out okay and then you just want to throw that that away all right I try to put it in the garbage can so that my dogs won't get it it'll get tangled around their legs and I have to chase after them and detangle them okay then you want to get 
your solid color and your, your glitter ribbon and sandwich them together putting your glitter ribbon on top okay you want to make sure you get your piece of cardboard here so that you can use your wood burning tool you have to have um, protection underneath your workspace for that wood burning tool okay and again it's kind of hard to focus in on the uh, the wood burning tool and what we do here. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit so you guys can see me cutting this ribbon with the wood burning tool. I don't know if I can pull it off, but anyway, I'll try. All right, again, you want to hold it down real tight. To make sure your ribbon is flat okay and then um, I go to at up at an angle when I'm cutting okay so I basically just slowly drag it ac across but you don't want to wait too long because you'll burn your ribbon up okay you see that line I'm creating across the top there and it basically <clears throat> melts the two ribbons together and it looks very clean and professional. You just throw that little piece away. All right, and you just have a real nice edge there. Okay. All right, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, now, now you've got your two ribbons together. Now, like in the other video, I showed uh, where you can use the crafter's two-sided tape, okay? Um, I have uh, learned to make the bows without, or make these bows without it. I do use it sometimes um, when I'm doing the one and a half ribbon and I'm putting it on top of a larger ribbon. Uh, but the you know the ribbons that are equal sizes, I don't use it anymore. But I'll just show real quick. You want to turn your your ribbon over and flip the solid color over. Okay, and basically you just want to run that tape across there, okay, on the, on the back side, okay, and then you just flip it over once you've done the whole thing, or you can go a little at a time, and you just pull it real tight and make sure there are no bubbles when you're, um, pushing it down so it, it stays. You know, make sure there are no ripples if possible. Okay, and you can go the whole length of the ribbon with that tape if you want to. Um, you know, it just makes it, it a little easier, especially when you're starting out making these bows. Okay, but I've made so many that I've just learned to do it without the tape. Because if you make a lot of bows, the, you know, the tape can get expensive. Um, <clears throat> but it's a good tool, you know, so you don't have to use messy glue. Okay. Now, again, you know, this is just a simple boutique bow, um, but this is a smaller one. Okay. All right. So we're going to make our first loop. <clears throat> okay. That's just a, a, uh, boutique bow. All right. Hopefully you can see this. It's just a same thing that I did in the other video. Okay. And you want this to be almost straight up and down. Okay. <clears throat> and I might be out of camera range just for a second. Okay, because this is so long. Okay, and this is the bottom. These are the two bottom loops. Okay. And then you want to form your second loop. Okay. Now you can see that this, this bow is going to be a lot smaller than the one that I did in the previous tutorial. Okay, but it looks exactly the same. All right, this is um, the bottom. Okay, and I'm just kind of adjusting here as we go along, making sure that the ribbon stays 
where it's supposed to. All right, then I get my alligator clip and I just stick it at the bottom here to hold these two into place, you know, to kind of hold the center into place. Okay. <clears throat> All right, then you want to take your top and sort of flip it around. Okay, I've got it flipped around here. And then you want to put it behind that first tail. You see that that uh, triangle kind of sticking up? You want to place that behind there. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right, so we've got our third loop here. And again, you're just adjusting a little bit. Okay. Adjust the camera a little bit. Not the greatest camera person here, guys. Okay, and then this last loop, we're going to flip it over for the final loop. Okay, and this is basically, you know, what you have when you get the bow together. Okay. Now, you want to get your salon clip and put it in the top and slide it down. Okay. This is exactly like the video that I did before. Again, it's just a smaller bow. Okay. And so this is, yeah, this is what it looks like with the, the clip in the middle. Okay. And then you can take the alligator clip out of the bottom. All right. Now, just like with the other video, <clears throat> you want to um, maneuver your loops to make sure that they're even. Okay, and that's what I'm doing right now. Remember I told you you just want to, you know, take your loops and, and pull them down. You know, just kind of pull them down and see uh, if they're even, you know, at the bottom. <clears throat> and then you want to turn it around and do it at the top. Make sure that they're even. And um, it's pretty easy to pull the loops um, in this clip. It's not too bad. Okay. And when you are satisfied with... Uh, you, you know, and it's very important that your loops are even because you want a symmetrical bow. You know, you, it, it looks off if, if you don't have it like it's supposed to be. Okay. And those loops look pretty even to me, but I'm going to check one more time. This one needs to be pulled a little bit. <clears throat> Just bear with me a minute as I check. Okay. Okay. All right. Now you want to leave that clip on. And now we are going to sew the middle. All right. Same process. <clears throat> Let me see if I can adjust the camera a little bit. <clears throat> Okay, now you want to take your needle and thread, and again, upholstery thread is the best. Um, all right, and you want to, you know, do a double knot. Okay, you want to turn your bow over, go in through the back middle. Okay, you see, I'm just putting my, my needle through the middle. All right, pull it through. Again, I'm just, you know, adjusting before I crease my bow. All right, then you see how I'm going through the top of the clip up here with my needle. And I'm basically just surrounding the middle of the bow a few times. Going through the top and around the back. And then up through the bottom a few times. Okay, and then you want to end up 
going through the top again to where you're in the back. Okay, you want to end up before you crease your bow, you want to be back here. You see I'm back here behind my clip. Okay, and you can see I've got my, my thread around the middle a few times. You know, at least two times. Okay, then you just want to start pulling. Pull up and down, you see how I'm doing that, until it creases it in the middle. Okay, pull tight, and that's why you need the upholstery thread. All right, once you're you're finished and you're you know you're satisfied with your crease, then you can take that clip off. Okay. Now we haven't tied it off yet, and it you know it's pretty tight in the middle. That's what's great about the uh, glitter ribbon. Is, you know it's pretty stiff, and it it. Okay, and you can see that this one's smaller. Okay. Um, and once you've kind of played with it a little bit and, and um, you know, you're, you're satisfied. <clears throat> and again, when you sew these in the middle, they're secure enough to where you can really pull hard on the bow if you need to. Okay. <clears throat> and then once you're satisfied, pull real tight in the back and then tie it off, you know, with a stitch and knot it. <clears throat> okay. But do not cut your thread. Once you've knotted it, don't cut your thread yet. Okay. <clears throat> All right, then you want to turn it around and adjust it. And we're not finished with the tail yet. Okay, we haven't cut the second tail. And my uh, ribbon is sticking out a little bit here. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Now, get your barrette. Now, if you're using an alligator clip, you might just want to cover it, you know, cut the thread off the back and, and glue it on. Um, but when I use a barrette, I like to secure it with a thread also. All right, so you want to take the tension bar out of the middle, place it to the side, okay? Turn your bow over to the back. All right, <clears throat> get your glue gun, put a little strip of glue in the back, and then put your, your barrette back there and hold it down. Let it dry for a second. Now hold that, that little bar open, and then you just want to take your thread, you know, you, you glued your, your barrette on top of the thread in the back, then you're just going to surround the back of your bow around that barrette a couple of times. Pull it tight, okay, to where it's secure, and that way your barrette is not only glued in, it's, it's sewed in pretty much, okay. All right, and then tie it off in the back, make a knot. Okay, oops, I got mine caught right there. Okay, and then you can cut your thread off. And that barrette is not going anywhere. Okay, turn it back over. Adjust your loops again. You can pretty much pull as hard as you want because your bow has been secured in the center with that thread. Okay, now let's go ahead and deal with the tail. I like to wait and cut the tail once I'm finished making my bow because I'm not sure how much of my tail I'm going to have left or whatever and then that kind of gives me the option at the end to you know cut a little bit or a lot or you know whatever okay so just like with the other video I want to take and you, you know like I have some excess right here of this you just take your wood burning tool line up the two ribbons Okay, and then cut diagonally with your wood burner. And the wood burner, of course, I uh, bought it from Walmart, $10. 
Okay, and then you have that nice clean edge there. No lighter is going to do that. Lighters are good for heat sealing, but they don't do this for sure. But you just got to be careful with the wood burners. They, uh, they can really hurt you. They're so hot. <clears throat> okay, so this is what we have. And you can see it's small. And you can make them smaller than this. I mean, you can see the size of my hand. My hand is not very big. But, um, you know, this is, this is the size. Let's see, I can even measure it, even though we're not finished with it. I mean, it's, it's about five inches across. You know, it's about a five inch bow. It's not teeny tiny by any means. I would say it's about a toddler bow. Um, you know, but our, our little ones uh, like to wear big bows in the south. We wear shorts in January and big bows all the time. Okay, a um, couple of steps left. Now you want to get your 3 8 ribbon. 3 8 inch ribbon and again it, it should coordinate with the color that you have on the inside of the glitter ribbon so that would be pink for me hot pink okay <clears throat> you want to turn over the back of your bow put a little bit of glue in that center over that barrette and we're basically just going to surround the center with this pink ribbon okay um and i'm gluing that and then i'm going to wrap it around the center of my bow okay and then you adjust you know i'm just adjusting my loops as i go around okay and then i'm going to oops. okay adjusting again and then i'm going to cut off the excess and then glue that little piece down. Okay, glue that piece down. Okay. And I mean, honestly, if you wanted to stop there and not add anything else, that would be fine. I mean, that is as cute as it can be. All right. Now, we want to put our tension bar back in. And I um, went over this in the last video. An easy way to do that without bending it all up um, is to put the uh, prong in the front part there. Okay. And then you just want to lay... Oh, let me get my camera here. You just want to lay that little piece down on the back hold it with your thumb and then just do that and you you, you know you can um, have it flip over and you, you know it's done you don't have to bend it to get it in in other words okay nifty little trick <clears throat> okay so that's what we have so far but we're gonna go a step further <clears throat> All right, I've cut this piece of marabou here, and um, feathers can be a messy, messy situation. Um, I cut, let me measure it real quick. Oh, this is about a four to five inch piece, okay? And what I'm gonna do is, I'm just kind of fluff it out, and you want to get the two ends and basically what we're going to do is we're going to glue them together to make a puff, okay? So find your two ends where you cut it away from that rope, that, that piece, okay? And then I use a low temp gun. I use high temp and low temp, but for this, so I don't burn my fingers, and it works for me pretty well. I just put a dot of glue on one side. And then I stick it to the other side and kind of sandwich it in. And if I have to, to uh, you know, push on it with my fingers, it doesn't burn like a hot glue uh, or a high temp rather would. Okay. And so you just, you know, you just glue the, glue the puff together and that's what you have. 
Okay, now there are a couple of different ways that you can place this in the center. Okay, you can um, put a little felt circle on the back, and let's see, I have one right here. Um, <clears throat> this is a white felt circle. You can glue this to the back and just have a little puff and and put it in like that, okay? Um, or what I like to do is I like mine to stick out. So what I do is the, the part where we glued it right here, I like to just glue it in the center right there so it's kind of like a little circle sticking out and the feathers kind of stick way out like that. Okay, um, now I do like to get a little felt piece, and I use a lot of felt. <clears throat> Let me get my felt here. All right, this is actually just a little light pink, and I'm going to cut out a square. You know, it's about uh, three-fourths of an inch, something like that. And then I'm going to find the spot where I glued my marabou together and I'm going to glue a little felt piece right there okay so you just want to get your glue glue gun put some glue on that felt piece and then I'm going to stick it right there right there on the end where I put them together Okay, and just kind of smash it down. <clears throat> All right. And then, and there are other ways to put feathers in the middle, you know, that we'll explore another way. Um, but for this video, I'm just going to use this method. All right, I get my glue gun, put the glue on the felt piece. Oh, and there's my dog. All right, and then you want to smash that right in the center of your bow. Okay, I just put it right in the center of the bow. All right, and hold it there for a minute and, and make sure you don't have it too far down or too far up or whatever. Okay. <clears throat> And, you know, that's that's the way that I do it, okay? And it just kind of makes a nice little um, extra piece to the bow. You know, I mean, lime and hot pink, you know, that's, that's popular, especially when you have glitter involved. Okay, all right, so this is our bow, and um, again... You know, you don't have to have huge bows. You could make this one even smaller. You could make a four or five inch bow. Okay. Um, you know, you come here's a side view of it. <clears throat> you know, the feathers kind of stick out. And, um, you know, there are so many other things that we can do with these. I'm hoping to get videos up of everything soon. Okay. But um, I thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm not the best uh, at the tutorials yet, but hopefully I'll get better. And until next time, thanks.